Welcome to Country Cooking. I'm your host, Cindy Schumacher. On today's show, we'll be making drunken chicken, lemon pilaf, a Caesar of a different color, and French silk pie. So we're going to start with the chicken. I have two tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of butter that I am heating on the stove. I have four boneless, skinless chicken breasts that I have halved, and I'm going to season them with salt and pepper. Now we're going to dredge them in. I have a cup of flour, just all-purpose flour here. We'll dredge them in that, and then we'll get them browning. This uh, is a recipe I came across a few years ago, and, and uh, it's. I thought I'd try to think of something kind of special for you to make if you are in the Valentine's Day entertaining mood. This is kind of something special and it's not something that uh, a lot of people make or that you've probably even seen anywhere. So uh, you might enjoy trying something just a little different. And it's even good if you have a little leftover. Okay, while those are browning, we'll get started on our lemon pilaf. Um, what I have done is I have grated uh, a lemon rind. This is a teaspoon of fresh grated lemon rind. And then I have, I've taken the lemon right here. I have a lemon press. If you don't, you can just squeeze it. But I have a lemon press here and uh, I'm going to squeeze myself out a, a tablespoon of lemon juice. It's like about right there. I have two extra large egg yolks and a fourth cup of cream. We're going to whisk that together. set that aside. I have a saucepan on the stove with two tablespoons of, of butter and I'll get that going and then what we're going to do is take a cup and a half of long grain rice and we're going to uh, kind of uh, sear the rice a little bit before we start putting all the other ingredients together so uh, if you want a copy of any of these recipes give the girls a call at the valley office if you have internet you can get the recipe there I'm going to clean up we'll be right back Blazing fast broadband internet from Valley is now available and better than ever. Let us help you decide which speed is best for you. The 50 meg speed would be sufficient for one to four devices mainly emailing and surfing the web. Our 100 meg speed works great for five to eight devices and multiple users streaming and downloading video. If you have eight devices or more that are simultaneously streaming or gaming, or if you have a medium-sized business, the 250 meg speed would work best for you. For extreme heavy home or work from home use, or if you have a medium to large business using 15 or more devices, you may want to consider our 500 meg download speed to fit your needs. And if you're a home or business that needs it all, we have our 1,000 meg, 1 gig broadband internet speed. Call our office today at 437-2615 and talk with one of our staff members to pick the speed that's best for you. Okay, the chicken's ready to turn. We're going to keep it going here. Okay, I have my rice in the pan that I'm uh, kind of browning just a little bit with the two tablespoons of butter. 
this takes a few minutes. You want to, to uh, just get a little bit translucent. And then, uh, then we'll start mixing all of our other ingredients together. Now the French silk pie uh, calls for super fine sugar. And it's not very easy to find super fine sugar in the, in the store. So I have put mine in the blender. You just blend it for about a minute and it, it gets almost like powdered sugar. So uh, that's, uh, we'll get going on that in just a few minutes and it, it takes quite a, a bit of time because you have to add each egg separately and let it blend for five minutes. But anyway, I think you're really gonna love that pie. It's, it's rich and delicious. It's kind of a fun Valentine's Day dessert. So we'll come right back as soon as we're ready to keep going on the chicken. Okay, the rice looks good. We're going to add three cups of chicken broth. Okay, now the chicken I'm going to remove to the pan and uh, we're going to brown our onions. I have one chopped whole onion and you brown it in the juices here. So get that going. It doesn't take very long for them to brown because of the drippings. Now to this, we're going to add um, can you cut it? Get three months free access on all lines plus a new 4G smartphone for only $4.99 a month. Two great offers with Valley Cellular. Call Valley today at 437-2615 to take advantage of this great deal. This I'm going to add two tablespoons of parsley, a can of diced tomatoes with the juice a fourth cup of light brown sugar and a half cup of golden raisins the colors in this are, are just amazing when you look at it it's such a pretty dish okay now we're going to add uh, a half teaspoon of cinnamon and I've got the cloves here, a fourth teaspoon of cloves. This even would work uh, well for a, a Christmas dish with the cinnamon and cloves. It gives you that kind of holiday um, smell. And then we're going to add um, a cup of dry vermouth, or if you have sherry, you can use that. And then we're going to let this simmer. And then we'll pour it over the chicken. Okay, while this finishes simmering up, uh, we'll take a quick break and then we'll get started. We'll get this in the oven, we'll get started on the pie, we'll be right back. Valley is now offering updated digital TV packages and prices. High definition and caller ID is now free with all TV packages. Call Valley today at 437-2615 to find out more. Um, we're going to pour our sauce over the chicken and get it in the oven. Okay. 
we're going to bake this. So we're going to bake this for about a half an hour at 375. Check the rice. Okay, now we're going to get going on the pie. I have I have pre-baked a nine-inch pie shell here. Okay, we're going to start out with a cup of butter that I have popped in the microwave to soften a little. And we have the cup and a half of the super fine sugar that I've prepared. And we're going to get this going so it gets fluffy. They recommend the use of a standing mixer. Uh, if you don't have one, you can certainly do this with, uh, you know, just a handheld mixer. Problem is, is that you do have to spend quite a bit of time incorporating the eggs because they take, they want you to add one egg and beat it for five minutes, and then add the next egg and five more minutes. So it actually takes 20 minutes just to add the eggs. Um, but. Once here, once this is fluffy, I have taken, stop this for a minute so you can hear me talk. I have uh, four ounces of unsweetened baker's chocolate that I have pre-melted and I've let it cool a little bit. We're going to add that. Telecommunications is pleased to announce that our Technology Solutions Center is fully stocked and open for business. We have a large selection to meet your wants and needs. Some of the items we currently carry are a variety of corded and cordless phones, different brands of tablets such as Kindle Fires and Apple iPads and all the accessories for them, Telecom computers, Epson and HP printers and ink cartridges, Apple iPods and accessories, office supplies, wireless keyboards and mice, cellular phones and accessories, different types of media storage, cameras, headphones, power strips and surge protectors, and much, much more. You can also get your very own Valley Swag. Our prices are reasonable and comparable to any other retail store. If there is something that you want or need that we do not currently carry, please let us know so that we can check into it for you. We accept all major credit cards, cash or check. Please feel free to stop by our office and check out our new and improved store for all of your technology and day-to-day -day business needs. Okay, our pie filling is ready.
someday someone's going to invent a way to clean off these beaters in a hurry. Okay, well we're going to pour it in the shell. Chocolate is always kind of a fun dessert to have around Valentine's Day and I make this a lot of times for family gatherings when you make a few different kinds of pies. Some people want something more traditional but then it's kind of fun to have something special like this. And sometimes people will take a sliver of each. chill this. Now normally if you were going to be having French soak pie you would make it the night before and chill it. I made one last night so that I have one to show you how it's done but this is how we make it. We put it in the refrigerator and then we'll pull out the one that I made last night so you can see how that goes. All right we're going to work on our salad. We're going to start out with rubbing your salad bowl. You should have a wooden bowl. I don't have one but you want to um, start out by rubbing your bowl with a garlic clove. I'm going to crush it just a little bit to release some of the flavor. Okay, now we're going to uh, pour two tablespoons of olive oil in there. Then what you do is you add your ingredients first. I've got two tomatoes that I've wedged. I have a fourth cup of green onions that I have sliced. I have an avocado, avocado that I have diced. Four strips of bacon that I have fried and crumbled and cooled. And uh, a half cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. If you don't have access to the wedge of Parmesan cheese, go ahead and use the, the Parmesan cheese in the can. It'll give you the same flavor. It's just that um, we're using some of that in the dressing, so it'll have the finer Parmesan there, but this gives you uh, a little more artsy salad look. Okay, then you pour your salad on the top. I have um, it calls for two um, heads of romaine and uh, then you want to toss it together and with that oil on the bottom and all the vegetables and everything it will start to give it, um, start to help blend the flavors. Normally a Caesar salad also has anchovies in it. Most people don't care for anchovies so uh, when I found this recipe called a Caesar of a different color, it has color that a Caesar salad normally doesn't have. And uh, so it's, it's kind of fun because it's got some good flavors and yet you still have the flavor from the Caesar salad dressing. start with the dressing. I'm going to uh, press a clove of garlic. By the way, I want to remind you that if you want a copy of any of these recipes uh, and you don't have internet, give the girls a call at the office. They'd be happy to give you a copy. Otherwise, you can go to the Valley homepage and uh, click on the call that's on the right hand side and that's where all the recipes are. If you want to uh, watch the video for a replay, you go down to the bottom where it says 
YouTube videos, and that's where you'll find all the Valley videos. Okay, so um, get the dressing going. Check that rice. Down a little bit. Okay, we need some Worcestershire. And Dijon mustard. Three fourths teaspoon of Worcestershire. Three fourths teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Sugar. We need the juice of a lemon. I have a, a lemon juicer, so you cut it, you cut the lemon in half and press it, and then you there. Oops. <laughs> it's one of those days. I have a little, little fine strainer so that I don't get the seeds in there. teaspoon of black pepper. Need a half cup of oil. I'm using olive oil. You can use vegetable oil if you'd rather. Or you can use a light tasting olive oil if, it's, if the olive oil flavor is too much for you. going to use uh, a fourth cup of mayonnaise. I'm trying to find a spoon here. This will make it more of a creamy Caesar. You, there are clear Caesar dressings, but I kind of always like a, the creamy flavor. Parmesan cheese. And here's where we're using the the Parmesan cheese in a, in a can. And we're going to use a fourth cup of that. Chef uh, salad dressing mixer here. And so we'll set that aside um, and we're going to check on the chicken. We'll be right back. Valley Telecommunications, the home team advantage. Okay, we're going to take the chicken out. We're going to toss the salad. Ah. 
This looks delicious. It's got all kinds of color, creamy dressing. And then if you like, you can add croutons. I bought Caesar croutons. These are um, nice big chunky ones, so they, and if you make your own, that's great, but um, sometimes it's easier to do this and save yourself a little time. So, need the bowl, we'll dish some salad. Finish up the rice and then we'll and then we'll dish that. So to our rice now we're going to add our lemon and egg mixture that we had, and then we're going to add three tablespoons of Parmesan cheese grated and three tablespoons of parsley. And then at this point, then you would season it to taste. I'm always a little leery about seasoning because you can always add more, you can't take it away. So I'm just going to do a little test and see what I think it needs. a little bit of sprinkle of paprika. love this pie. Guaranteed. second one. The first one never looks very nice. of some whipped cream. You can use cool or whatever you have. And there you have it. We have our drunken chicken, our lemon pilaf, our Caesar salad of a different color, and our French soap pie. Thanks for joining us on this uh, episode of Country Cooking and we hope to see you next time.